Look, can't complain, man. Everything's great. Yeah. I'm Gucci, I'm straight. Nothing but positive vibes this way. Really just blessed to see another day. God done gave me a whole lot of great. Good morning, welcome back to my channel. I'm so Pisces, and I'm just like my source, the great I am, and I am that I am. Spiritual gangster, just gangster tarot. Um, I'm in love with the art of tarot and oracle cards, as well as the law of attraction, the healing elements of crystals, essential oils. So if you're into all of that stuff, please hit like, comment, and subscribe. Today I'm doing an official review of the Romance Angel Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. As well as the Moonology Oracle Cards by Yasmin Boland, artwork by Nix Rowan. So I received both of these cards on the same day. Um, I was a little bummed out. I was just a beginner and I, they didn't come with books. And I like all of my Oracle cards, especially Oracle cards, to come with books. So they didn't come with books. So I was a little lost. Um, first on the Romance cards, right at the box, there was this beautiful gold gilding. That was so beautiful around the edges, which is a little over 30 days, and it is gone. I mean, you could see a little bit of the gold still there, but it was like bright gold. Love that. I love the cards. Um, they are smaller than most of my Oracle cards. They're very tiny. They have a great bow, and you would love to just shuffle these cards. You can just shuffle these cards any which way. They're very um, flexible. Love it's very easy on the hand. If you read tarot or cards, you know what I mean. The back of the cards is stunning. That beautiful pink. And then as far as the artwork going with the message, attraction, you can attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Loving the messages, loving the artwork. Overall, very easy deck to bond with. Beautiful message. Calling in your soulmate. Like your prayers have been answered. I mean, just beautiful messages here. Okay, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart. Give and receive the highest energy of all. Unacquitted love. There's just not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, free yourself. Separation. Okay, and then that's just to name a few. So overall, it was a great deck. You know, you can, I can't really go too deep because there wasn't a book. So there's not any deeper messages than what's on the card. I love shuffling these cards. I use these for, I actually use these two cards together for a lunar love spread. Love these cards. And I was actually thinking about maybe using these for um, altar cards in the morning as well. This would be nice just to pull and get quick messages. Great, overall great deck for the Romance Oracle Cards by um, Doreen Virtue. Okay. I've seen them a little bit bigger. I can say the only thing I probably would, if I would have known better, I would have ordered the bigger size. Great, great, great overall deck. Okay. Then we need to get to that review. Now the Moonology Oracle Card deck. Uh, by Yasmin Bolin. Awesome deck. Okay, straight out the box. Again, this one doesn't, didn't have a book either. So I was bummed out about that. But what I like about these is that the messages are very clear and direct. So I was able to connect and bond with them easily. The back of the card, different lunar cycles, full moon, new moon, everything in between. The bow on it is great. You're going to love, like, these two decks. I could just shuffle and shuffle and shuffle there. So easy on the hand. Again, so easy to bond with. And the messages are wonderful. Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. Okay. Hold your vision. Fixed moon. Nothing is yet set in stone with that mutable moon. So, because it did not come with the book, um, I did have to go and study lunar cycles so that I could bring you all the correct, you know, meaning to what the lunar cycle actually meant. Full moon in Pisces, balanced spiritually and practically. Love these cards. I mean, I'm so Pisces. It just, it just came. You're very close to achieving your goal in the Gibbous moon. Okay. 
your hard work is paying off. New moon and Capricorn. I'm loving that they had the zodiac signs in here. There's a time rather again to take the new moon in Virgo. Okay. Your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. We have that first quarter moon coming up soon. This is the last quarter moon. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. Shout out to all my Geminis. The sun and moon in, is in Gemini today. So yeah, overall great deck. Um, just wish it had a book with it to be able to get more uh, information. I don't have to do my own research to be able to be like, hey, this is what the full moon means. This is what the gibbous moon means. Um, so I did order the um, Queen of the Moon Oracle, the card deck, and I've been working with that. It has a little, it has a book with it. Uh, guidance for lunar and seasonal energy. So I'll be looking for those reading soon but overall for the moonology cards and oracle cards deck they're both great decks yes i would buy them again yes i am glad to have them in my um collection i use them for quick reads here on my youtube channel as well as probably going to incorporate them they would also be great for altar cards just for a quick pull just to have a to sit on your altar okay so I just wanted to share that with you real quick uh, review of the Moonology Oracle card deck and then the Romance Angel cards by Doran Virtue. Two awesome, awesome decks. Have a great day. Bye. I already know that a nigga got you getting to the paper. Yeah, I'm getting to the paper. Bunch of blue Benjamin Franklins with the big faces. And a whole lot of layers. Yeah, I'm a chase them. You can say the hustle in my nature. G certified money maker.